What is going on you beautiful human being? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are reacting to Free Run Beyond Journey's End. It's called A Real Hero. This will be episode 12. If you like Free Run Beyond Journey's End, smash that like button. Maybe consider subscribing to my anime reaction videos and hit that notification bell so that you stay up to date. Let's just jump straight into it. Let's go. This, okay, so this is 29 years in the Shwear Mountains. So obviously we met uh his name is Croft. Oh, Freeran's falling asleep. We met Croft the monk in the last episode. Oh wow. Is she sick or something? But what I was saying is I missed the show. It's like on Fridays it's very much like it's, it's like you know it's the relaxing day, right? It's been a long week. And Freeran is the perfect way to end it. It's just it's the most relaxing show I've I think I've ever seen. Yo, the king, remember in the very beginning, Freeran was saying that he gave us like 10 coppers to kill the demon king. But I guess what Himmel is saying is that the journey itself is worth more than all the gold copper you can give. <laughs> a fake hero because you got a fake sword himmel like every time they show these flashbacks himmel just seems like such a cool character you know he's always got the right thing to say and even his life but it's so interesting how when we started watching it was the end of his life but like I said, Stark reminds me a lot of him. But this is interesting that she's falling, fallen asleep. You know, when she's someone who never sleeps, really. Oh, it's the weather that's keeping her down. <laughs> Isn't that what Stark said? <laughs> Is it maybe that? Oh my gosh. I was thinking that it was maybe because you know that Fern has almost become like a mother figure or Freerun has become sort of a daughter figure. We've been waiting for you, Miss Freerun. The current village chief. The Lord of the Mountains. Interesting. Oh, okay. Some uh, lore, some backstory. Oh, so Himmel pulled the sword. Is that that nice one that he has? Will drive off the great calamity bent on destroying the world. You're supposed to return a half a century later. Okay, it's 50 years after. The Lord of the Mountain. Interesting. Okay, so now she's going back to. Remember, like, there was the wreckage that she cleared? Oh, wolves. Oh, let's go Stark. Damn. The levitation will never get old. So basically what I'm saying is whenever she's not doing something big on the journey, it's like these small things that she's always doing. You know, like the wreckage on the beach, the, the mountain pass that was blocked, clearing monsters. Oh. Whoa, is that the Lord of the Mountain? It's a new face. <laughs> Only 80 years and you consider yourself a Lord. Damn. The finishing blow. Oh. <laughs> Man, their team is their team is something special. 
Stark, boom, takes the arm off. Uh, Finn defends. <gasps> Imagine he pulls it. Wow. Imagine he actually pulls it. He will fail to pull the sword. Oh my gosh. But doesn't the sword look like the same one he was carrying? Oh, is that the grandma? Oh, so now it ties into the whole fake hero thing. I wonder if Stark is gonna pull it. That would be amazing to see. Oh, so the episode is obviously called A Real Hero. So she's saying that Himmel is a real hero. Even if he didn't pull the sword. Come on, Stark. Oh my gosh. It'll be so cool if he pulls the sword. Who's that? I'm hella grateful. <laughs> Appetite region. Oh. I've got something special planned. Look at all those things that she collects. <laughs> this vulgar potion. <laughs> He's probably getting, um, you know, he likes to always get the desserts and stuff. Clouds look like food. <laughs> Stark is so dense, I swear. Damn, not even from the family. Oh, we're gonna get a little, a little bit of a backstory with that. Remember, there's that other guy with the hair up. Tried to be more like Stolt. Oh, that guy. What's that? His brother or something? He's a failure, but look how he's still a kid. You're wasting your time. Wow. Oh. So it was more about the father who was like disappointed. Oh, wow. Oh, the demons. Well, one demon wiped him out. Crazy. All the more reason to pull the sword. <laughs> That's expensive. Oh, bracelet. She's cooking. Hamburg steaks. To honor warriors who have worked hard. Wow, everyone who works hard is a warrior. Oh, so he did actually get a birthday gift. Oh, so he blocked out his memories. Oh, that was the thing that was in the the briefcase or her case. <laughs> uh. 
okay very interesting episode but that was it very relaxed as well they still moving down the line we saw that there was this sword and that well the episode was called a real hero simply because Haita had told Himmel that because he had a fake sword that he was a fake hero and so his whole idea was that he's gonna go and he's gonna slay the demon king and then he'll save the world and then he will be a real hero essentially there was the sword it's almost like Excalibur you know pull it from the rock and it's I mean it's 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 very interesting I'm wondering what happens with that I'm hoping that Stark maybe tries to pull it and actually does end up pulling it I thought that Himmel had actually pulled it because the sword that you see him with in those flashbacks looks very similar to the one that's actually in the rock and this and the magical aura of the sword actually draws monsters towards it they can't get into it because there's a barrier that blocks the cave but it still draws them in nonetheless and so that's why they had to slay what they called um the lord of the mountain which was this giant type of wolf looking animal and freeran was like oh you call yourself a lord you're not even 80 years old it's always funny to hear her perspective on time because you know what she considers a century is nothing Thing. so they've been to this new town i think it was called appetite or appetite town all of this is just making their way through the Schwer mountains through the blizzards or the blizzard and eventually ending at ender where the demon king's old castle is which is going to be interesting to see but that's the journey that they're on right now and obviously they stopping in this town was stark's birthday and then we got to see a bit of his backstory because he did mention before his family was killed and he was sort of adopted by aizen and now we see that his fam how his family got killed was by the demons it's very interesting to see that his brother might actually still be alive and how it was his dad that considered him a failure because he hadn't slain a monster even though he was so young but his brother actually liked him and actually gave him a birthday gift which was the heart um the warriors i think it's a warrior's gift or something which is the hamburg steak and essentially it's for someone who's worked hard and a warrior is someone who works hard which is very cool and that was pretty much it we saw fern trying to get a little bit closer to stark you know just kind of trying to figure him out at the same time and just realizing you know he is you know he's like he's a dude man we that's how we are we still like very childlike you know looking at the clouds and seeing different images um that relationship is still unfolding in many ways but anyways that's it um, not much happened other than that it's just a really good episode great to watch great animation and everything but that's going to be it for me if you like free and beyond journeys then smash that like button consider subscribing to my anime reaction videos and hit that notification bell with that i'm releasing videos every day of the week i'm gonna leave the last episode up over here thanks for watching if you're watching i'm out peace in a bit